In the year of 1912, there was a boy born in Fujian Province, China. He is our late Datu Lao Yongqing. When he was nine, he followed his father, who was scholar, to come to Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Datu worked as general worker in a shop after growing up. He had been working very hard, and his performance was highly appreciated by the boss of the shop. Soon, he was promoted as manager, who was authorized to take care of the shop's operation. His money earned with sweat and tears was saved for a purpose. One day. Datu Lao Yongjing received a letter from his hometown. He was asked to return to Fujian in order to get married. Thus, he left KK and returned to his place of origin. As what he planned. Datu started his own business in Xiamen, city of Fujian Province. Here we have Kim Tek Chong. Kim Tek Chong is pronounced as Jing De Chang in Mandarin. Datu determined to become a businessman, not only aiming for profit but also morality. This is the spirit of Jing De Chang. Under the strong leadership of Datu. KTC was progressing tremendously. During the peak period, KTC was a three-story departmental store. In 1937, Japan launched a full-scale attack on China. Datu abandoned his property and ran for survival with the family. They hid in the forest and having a very tough life in the period of the war. Even life was difficult and unstable. Datu never gave up his goal and determined to regain what he had lost. Finally, he decided to leave China and go to Nanyang again. This time. His feet stepped onto the ground of Papar. Someone lent him money, and he established Kim Tak Chong again in Papar. Business was good until the Japanese attack. Japan conquered Sabah in 1942. During the Japanese occupation, the living conditions were brutal, and business was deeply affected. In 1945, Japan surrendered. The British returned. Business continued to progress well. Then Datu decided to move to KK. The family moved to Kota Kinabalu in the year of 1945. In Gaya Street, he set up Kim Tek Chong for the business of clothes and cosmetics. Datu Lau Kok Sing was born in 1945. Since he was young, he learned the business managing skill from the father. 
After he completed his education in KL, he officially joined KTC in year 1966. Datu Lao Kok Singh took over the leadership of KTC in year 1970. In 1973, the world oil crisis adversely affected the entire global economy. KTC business was badly affected due to the economy recession. Datu realized that he must make drastic decisions to survive through the economy crisis and bring KTC to another height of success. It wasn't easy to venture into a new industry. Many people turned him down, still he never gave up. He stood still every time he failed. Opportunities always given to people who are determined. Datu successfully transformed the business from the initial retail business to FMCG distribution in 1980s. Datu successfully expanded KTC's business throughout Sabah in the 1980s. The financial crisis 1997 hit Asia. Malaysia was also hurt by the slump. However, under the strong leadership of Datu, KTC was once again survived through this economy crisis and reached another peak of success. Dexter joined KTC in the year of 2002 after completing his studies and he is qualified barrister in law. He has vision to further establish a stronger KTC and decided that restructuring is needed to further strengthen the competitiveness of the company. Dexter faced many barriers when many people in the company refused to change and improve. However, he never gave up and he continues to strive for business growth and expansion. His determination has brought huge improvements to the company. Business is growing tremendously under the execution of the launch restructuring plan. Come, let me show you where will KTC be in the future.